With the Gatuna border post between Rwanda and Uganda set to reopen Monday morning, the deputy spokesperson of the government of Rwanda has stated that no ceremonies are planned for the reopening and urges Rwandans planning to travel to Uganda to be careful when doing so. No ceremony will take place and the border will open like all others starting tomorrow. But people must be careful not to forget the COVID-19 preventive measures in place. I believe that was also emphasized in the announcement that was issued yesterday. Both countries will discuss those measures, and I believe that applies to the whole of the East African community. Just like the Rusumo border post operates, so will this one. So people should not think that the COVID-19 measures will just go out the window. As for the problems Rwandans have been facing in Uganda, which was why the government of Rwanda had been urging Rwanda nationals not to go there, they by no means have just disappeared either. Certainly the border reopening is a step in the right direction, but it does not mean that people should stop being careful. This does not mean that the concerns Rwanda has been airing will vanish tomorrow. We must see progress in action. One step has now been taken, as the announcement noted when the envoy came to see the President of the Republic. So after we reopen the border, we must establish that the persecution of Rwandans in Uganda has stopped. We must also ascertain whether or not individuals bent on destabilizing Rwanda's security are being apprehended or expelled. So people should understand that this is a step that has been taken, but much more needs to be done. People should recognize that this is the beginning of a process, progress forward, but certainly not the end of all the concerns that were raised. And people should be careful about this matter, as well as the COVID-19 measures still in place. Iki kintu cyose rwose nicyo kwitonderwa, nicyo gushishozaho, nicyo kugenzurwa cyane cyane nonge kugaruka no kuri zingamba za COVID-19 zigihari. Still on the same matter, health officials here in Monda have also stressed that COVID-19 measures must be respected for those crossing to both sides of the border. Yes, uh thank you so much. So uh uh Gatuna border uh, will be opening the same as Rusumo uh, and other borders. And uh, uh, with opening of the borders, we maintain uh, prevention measures. Uh, and among them, uh, we, we keep on testing uh, where we require or request everyone to be tested, especially truck drivers. And also, uh, we also follow up patients, especially cases that have been identified as positive. So uh, these measures, we keep on stepping up uh, as long as uh, we, we, we see uh, still there's uh, a need uh, uh, since we're also observing uh, different variants of concerns in different countries, so uh, we, there's a need really to keep on uh, uh, stepping up on these measures. Did you agree with the, the government of Uganda on the terms and conditions to be followed at the border? Already uh, these are, are written uh, within our info notes uh, where we do request uh, every truck drivers to be tested upon arrival. And also for Rwandans, they need to be vaccinated before departing. And also uh, for, for Rwandans who are uh, entering the country, they also be uh, uh, vaccinated. Still on the same matter, Gloria Mutesi is at Gatuna border where she joins us uh, to tell us more about this current situation at Gatuna border post. Very good evening, Gloria. Good evening to you, Ethan. I hope uh, everything is fine where you are. Absolutely, we are doing very well, thank you. We are under two hours from January 31st, 2022, the time set by the government of Rwanda to reopen the Gatuna border. What is the current situation where you are right well, for sure, Ethan, uh, there is anticipation uh, towards the reopening of the Uganda-Rwanda border. Uh, from the locals that we managed to speak to, they've expre they expressed their joy towards uh, the reopening of this border. And if I may speak from, um, from a social and economic perspective, uh, the locals that we spoke to told us that... Uh, Ever since the statement was released by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, preparations have been underway uh, 
in anticipation of course for customers uh, when they reopen the border and we also understand that uh, some of the people some of the cross-border traders that were engaged in uh, this trade before who had closed shop before uh, since the border was closed uh, for the last almost three years now are back and they've taken up shops we understand that if um, most of if not all of the shops for the vendors have now been taken up uh, by the by by the cast by the business people rather in anticipation for the for customers when the border reopens a few hours from now now earlier also when we reached earlier in the afternoon uh, we also noticed or we saw a number of randans that were crossing back uh, to Rwanda crossing back home from Uganda as it has always been the case because uh, the, the the border has always been open um, for Rwandan citizens returning citizens and also uh, residents as well and notably so one of those resident was uh, Mr. Donald Kaviruka, the former president of the African Development Bank who had uh, represented Rwanda at the barrier ceremony of the late Professor um, Emmanuel Tumusime Mutebide, the, the former governor of the Bank of Uganda. Uh, I could also speak about uh, earlier on when we looked across the border, of course, on the Ugandan side, we were also able to notice uh, a bit of construction work, some construction work and renovation work going on from the Ugandan side, perhaps in anticipation for the reopening of the border. Over to you, Ethan. Gloria, can you tell us about the COVID-19 protocols ahead of the reopening? What, is, uh, what have you heard from the officials? Uh, so uh, the, of course, the protocols have always in, have always been in place. This is the third year that we are grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic. So notably, so when you walk around uh, the border, the you will see hand washing stations uh, for people to be able to wash their hands upon crossing and those hand washing stations are both for adults as well as for young children as some of the footage that we sent you uh, was showing we see uh, sanitizers across all pinned on walls for people to be able to sanitize and people basically taking temperatures um, in all I can say that the, the COVID-19 regulations are being observed so far. Okay, we also saw a couple of pictures coming from Gatuna of people actually taking pictures in the no man's land in the middle of the border, uh, the two border posts. It looks like people are actually ready uh, to cross. But who is allowed to cross? What do you have from the official standpoint? So the official stand is uh, that the border is uh, open to all cross-border traders as well as the general public and uh, the, the travelers as well. But of course that is in observance with the COVID-19 regulations. As we know that um, the borders, land borders have been closed, that were closed in a bid to stop the spread of the pandemic. And that has been a point that has been emphasized by uh, government officials, different uh, government officials and authorities, that even though the border has been opened, uh, the pandemic is still um, on and present and so uh, this perhaps we are remaining to wait we are remaining to see if there are any further guidelines or regulations that will be able to that will be provided to facilitate the cross-border movement um, in this period when we are seeing the reopening of the border but Ethan uh, lest we also forget the reasons that led us here for the closure of the border about uh, three years ago where Rwanda was accusing uh, Uganda of torturing and uh, kidnapping and torturing Rwandan citizens on Ugandan territory, as well as as well as uh, supporting and uh, harboring dissidents that uh, were seeking to destabilize Rwanda. So those reasons have not gone away. Definitely, the opening of the border is a step forward in the right direction, but it doesn't necessarily mean that these reasons have gone away, of course. And if I may borrow or if I may quote uh, part of the statement that was released uh, that said that Rwanda is committed to um, continuing in the efforts of the pending issues. So certainly the issues are still very much present. And so it for Rwanda, it goes beyond just the reopening of the border, but, but rather this is just a step towards all the other pending issues that are yet to be resolved. Glory, I hope you'll keep us um, uh, updated on what is happening. And uh, please uh, do take care of yourself from COVID-19, of course. And uh, we look forward to more updates from you uh, in Gatuna. Absolutely. Thank you, Ethan. Thanks, Gloria. That's uh, my colleague, Gloria Mutesi, joining us from Gatuna border, telling us the current situation at the border and what we should expect uh, going forward.